Hey everyone, welcome to weekly vlog 32. So firstly I should probably start by apologising, which I know I'm not supposed to do. Sorry, I'm, I don't have my tripod so my camera's all over the place. Uh, yeah, so um, I can't find my tripod. But my weekly vlog went up late last night because YouTube was having a paddy, it wouldn't let me upload. It took three hours and it was frozen and oh I don't even know what was wrong with it. Um, so I had to re-upload it and it just took all night and I think it eventually went up at quarter past 11. So it still went up on Monday but it was really late so I apologise. Um, I don't know what was wrong with YouTube. It was just being really slow. The internet's actually been weird today as well so I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the internet so we'll have to try and figure that out. But um, So it's Tuesday. Yesterday I just spent the day doing the weekly vlog. Um, I was I was packing up everybody's orders. They ordered bracelets which was so much fun and I really enjoyed it. A couple of people have got the bracelets today as well, have already messaged me, um, so I'm glad that they got them nice and quick and they absolutely love them, they adore them and I also sprayed them with something to make them smell good and everybody has commented saying that they smell good so that's really cool. So uh, yeah, I've lost my tripod from uploading the stuff yesterday and I can't find it so that's why I'm holding this a bit higher because normally I would have the tripod. I need to find the tripod, this is hurting my hand. But anywho, um, so today I just spent most of the morning chilling because you know when you have such a busy day like yesterday I was doing orders I was at the post office I was there for a while so I've now set up a drop and go so that it doesn't take me as long to send out everyone's orders um then I was doing the weekly vlog which normally takes up my whole day and then I was tidying so yesterday was full on start to finish and then today I kind of woke up in a really lazy mood and it's Matthew's day off as well on Tuesday so he made me breakfast in bed and I just kind of stayed in bed for a while and then when I did get up I was a bit lethargic and like I did a yoga session it was really good actually I did two actually and then I did meditation but I just couldn't get into it as much as I did last time I think I realized that you know when you have so much to do it wasn't that I needed to de-stress it was the fact that I needed to get on and do it because I had such a lazy morning and like I have a lot to do over the next few weeks like I have a schedule to stick to but I've just been feeling a bit like I don't know from opening the store last week and then all day yesterday I think I needed a day but I did that thing where you don't actually chill properly because in the back of your mind you know you have a lot to do so it's like you should just accept defeat if you're not going to do it and then you can chill but I kept thinking to myself that I need to do things so I never really chill properly and I haven't had a very productive day or a chill day but never mind so I'm going to um, go to my mum and dad soon because it's my dad's birthday. Oh yeah, I was saying what I'd done today. So basically, yeah, I had a bit of a lazy morning, did a bit of yoga and then I edited um, a video to go up on Friday and it is a wig review and how to cut a lace front wig and how to put it on and all that jazz because I asked on Twitter and you guys wanted to see that. So that's edited and going up on Friday. In the morning, I need to edit my Disney haul before I go for a blood test because then I think I'm going to be out all afternoon um, with me nana. So yeah, after I edited that video today, I just didn't get much done. I wanted to do loads of tidying today and I just haven't got any done because I need to record a video on Thursday and it needs to be tidy and it's just, it's not really bad. It's just not like video tidy, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just going to go and make the dinner so I actually achieve something other than just editing a video today. Um, Matthew's doing an ab workout because he didn't go to the gym earlier because he was seeing his brother. So I'm gonna go and make the tea and then we're gonna go around my mum's. I spy a little boon in the garden. I think he knows I'm watching him because he stopped eating. So it's a bit later now, basically um, after dinner, we very quickly went around my mum and dad's because it was my dad's birthday, but we had to be quick because my little brother has school in the morning. So I couldn't stay for very long because if I'm there, he wants to see me obviously, and he won't go to sleep. So we had to only go for like, maybe not even an hour. We just had to be really quick basically. Um, like Matthew's got work, me mum and dad have got work. I have stuff to do in the morning, my little brother had school, so I was only around about an hour and yeah, like I took my camera and I mean I don't really know how much I can record anyway at my mum's because it's my mum's, um, like interesting I mean, and then yeah, we were leaving and I was like oh I didn't record anything because we were literally just sat in the sitting room talking and catching up, so I'm really sorry, I'm not supposed to apologise, but yeah, so I just feel like this has been a really boring start, but I am going out tomorrow, so hopefully it'll be a bit more interesting, but um, 
yeah i have to edit a disney haul in the morning so when you watch this hopefully the disney haul will have gone up i have till about 12 o'clock to edit it render it save it to youtube and schedule it and do youtube and fill everything in and set it all away because i have to leave at 12 because i have a blood test and uh, not long after that and then i'm taking me nana to collect our car because it's had its mot and then she'll probably want to go for dinner and i needed to pop into a few shops and then when i come back i'll probably be knackered i know i will but i kind of need a tidy but yeah I'll, I'll be knackered i'm not even gonna say i'm gonna do anything when i get back because i know i'll be knackered so i've got quite a lot to do on thursday before i can record a video oh well i just wish i'd like said in my head a little bit more today just chill and just chilled rather than do you know what i mean i think i explained that earlier but anyway, so, so yeah, I'm going to get to bed because it's like after 10 and I've got a lot to do. I need to get up and make sure that Disney Hall is done. So I will speak to you guys in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Hey, guys, it's the next day. I've just propped you up on the bookcase so that, oh, computer's buzzing, so that I can um, speak to you without my arm killing like yesterday. But I found my, uh, my tripod, so that's good. Anywho, it's the next day. It's Wednesday. It's 20 past 12 and my blood test was supposed to be in 20 minutes and I am still doing the Disney haul. I haven't packed up the orders yet from all the bracelets that got sold yesterday. Um, I still have a lot to do before I can leave the house. So I've just had to ring the doctors and I said I'll only be 10 minutes late. And normally they don't really care but because it was a nurse I haven't seen before I was a bit worried in case she wouldn't see us and then... It's not a problem because I'll just go straight to my nana's but I could have stayed home and made sure everything was done properly rather than rushing around. So I rang them and I said I'm going to be late and then she said it's probably best to rearrange. So I don't actually have my blood test anymore which is really annoying because I really wanted to get it out of the way. But never mind so, so I'm just going to finish off setting up this Disney haul on the computer. Then I'm going to package up all the packages, put a little bit of makeup on and then I'm going to go to my nana's. So I guess I'm literally just driving down to me nana's now to take her to her MOT like centre to get her car so I kind of hope she does want to go out for lunch so, so that like I'm not coming out of the house just for that I mean obviously I don't mind helping her it's just I have a lot to do so if we're out for dinner as well it makes me feel I don't know that doesn't make sense does it anyway yeah so I'm just gonna get on with uploading this Disney haul and I'll get back to you guys once I'm going out so it turns out that um I don't even know when the last time I spoke to you was, I'm confused now. Basically, I think I said I was trying to really quickly hurry up and do my Disney haul and I had packages to pack up. So now I'm just taking my time, making sure the Disney haul is up. It is scheduled to go up at 6 o'clock and it's 25 past 1 now. I don't need to go out now because, um, yeah, the blood test got rearranged and that's now next Monday, which is probably going to interfere with the weekly vlog. Oh lord, but never mind. And then, yeah, I, I rang me Nana I was like, Nana, do you still need us to come and pick you up? to take you to get your car from the MOT centre and then she was like no I've been my friend took us this morning and I was like oh so the only reason I need to go out now is the post office and that is like not even like two minutes in the car so I'm just gonna have some lunch package up the rest of the orders go to the post office and then when I come back we will organize upstairs like there is no tomorrow and then that should mean that it's gonna be easier for me to record tomorrow so I'm kind of happy that I'm not having to go all the way down to the doctors and stuff now but at the same time, I still need to go out to the post office. But I'm absolutely starving, so I'm going to have some lunch. I look like such a mess today as well. So I'm going to have some lunch, package up the rest of the orders, and then I'll get back to you after the post office. Look what the wind has just done to me. It's so windy out there. I feel like um, yesterday was one of those days where you just don't get anything... Well, I didn't get anything done. I think I explained because today I feel really motivated. So I've already got two loads of washing done. Um, I've packed up all my Etsy orders and been to the post office. I've got a Disney haul edited and scheduled for six o'clock. I've got a load of on online like orders to do with Etsy stuff done, like pre-orders sorted. I've got, um, I've took out all the recycling, the rubbish. I've topped up all the bird feeders. I've got so much done and I still feel really motivated. It's a shame it's quarter four because I feel like I could just keep going and it's like, it's getting on. So soon I'll be making the tea and things and then I normally stop. But I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna try and organize the bedrooms. I had to wash the recycle um, basket because something mustn't have been cleaned properly before it was put outside. So it had like, I don't know if it was like bean juice or something, but so I washed it and he keeps hiding under it. I think he's moved now. Here he is. Hey. 
Are you just enjoying yourself there, are you? By the way, some people always say to me, these need painted, by the way. Um, how do you feed the birds, like, all the time? Like, I, I think I showed it a few weeks ago. I might not have. But basically, I have four places I feed the birds in the garden. So I have two places that I hang these, like, netted fat balls on the fence. And then I have a bird tree and then a bird feeder, like, hanging from the balcony. And honestly, I just go to Wilkinson. This is, like, a pound and it's a really big bag. I need, like, to go back. Um, and that does the birds for, like, two weeks on the tree and the feeder. And then it's 10 pack of these. And then I have, like, two hoops on the fence that I hang like the nets off it's really handy to get them in nets and this is a pound for ten so that literally does them for like almost two weeks and it's like two pound so that's how I afford to feed the birds all the time and I enjoy feeding the birds because it's just so nice to have them in your garden so feed the birds I would break out into song like feed the birds top the bird but I won't but you get the idea so it's quite a few hours later so out of breath. I'm always out of breath, honestly. Basically, I came downstairs about five o'clock and I was like, I'm really hungry, I'm gonna make some dinner. And it's now half seven and I've just finished tidying down here and the dinner's ready in like two minutes. I should have really just put like time lapses on while I was doing what I was doing because I've done quite a lot, but it's just tidying and organizing. And now upstairs, it's just an absolute pigsty even more because it's half organized and I'm too tight to finish it. So I'm gonna try and finish it tomorrow before I record, but We'll see how that goes. But anywho, I've just made a casserole from scratch. So I'm going to get it out of the oven because I'm very proud of it. And I'll show you it. And then me and Matthew are going to sit and watch Bake Off. And Matthew's not very well. He's got a cold. So he's just come in. Uh, so we're just going to sit and chill. And I'm pooped from two and a half hours of standing and tidying and making casserole from scratch. But I'm very proud of myself. So yeah, just another day of doing things. But I really should have time lapsed. I apologise. I know I'm not supposed to apologise. Look at all the washing. Whoa. So I ran out of room on the washing uh, like clothes horse because I did two loads. So look at all that underwear drying clean on his cage, bless him. This is my genius invention. It is basically a casserole with um, vegan dumplings. So there's onion, carrot, peas, red lentils, which to be honest, green lentils would have gone better, but I don't really like green lentils, so red lentils. Um, different seasoning like pepper salt coriander i put a bit of thyme in but i'm not sure if i've put too much in because i can smell it loads and then dumplings and gravy obviously um yeah it smells so good and i'm absolutely starving so i'm going to start putting this out Hey guys, it's the next day. I've got terrible reflux in my throat today. I get reflux quite a lot, but I haven't had it. Look at all that washing still on there. I haven't had it for ages. I've got it really bad today. I look so, you know who I remind myself of? You know, Jurassic Park, the first one with the little girl and she wears a cap. I feel like I look like that. Anyway, basically I am, um, it's, it's 10 to five, I can't believe that. Basically it's the next day. I didn't say goodnight last night because I took the camera upstairs to get into bed to say goodnight. Me and Matthew watched Bake Off and had our casserole, which, my God, that casserole was so good considering I homemade it. I took the camera last night upstairs, went to the bathroom, came out and Matthew was sound asleep and everything was shut off in all the other rooms, like the lights and it was all locked up. Um, he's not very well, he's got cold, I think I mentioned that. So um, yeah, I just couldn't really be like, Good night, because he was found sound asleep, bless him. So today, I cleared my schedule last night so that I, like, I was looking over everything I need to do. And yesterday I was supposed to completely finish tidying upstairs and organising it. Um, and then today I was supposed to be recording, but I still haven't tidied upstairs because I came down and did downstairs yesterday and then made the tea and did some other things. So today, everything was moved around so that I could spend all day organising upstairs and then record tomorrow. So then I got up, when Matthew went to work, about seven o'clock, all of a sudden it's five o'clock and all I have done all day, apart from reply to a couple of emails, is sort out my Halloween stock. So I've been designing my Halloween bracelets and I haven't even sorted out the packaging yet. I've literally just done um, the Halloween bracelets, designed them and they should be like ready to go on sale on my Etsy about the middle of October, which is a little bit later than I would have liked. But this is the soonest that I can like do it. So it'll still be before Halloween. 
but I would have liked to have them up at least the beginning of October. Maybe everything will arrive and happen in time, I don't know, but they will be going on sale on Halloween stuff before Halloween, at least be two weeks before Halloween. So that's what I've been doing all day, designing these bracelets and getting stuff ordered and I haven't even done the packaging yet. I've been to the post office with today's orders, so I've packed up some orders. I did all the Halloween bracelet stuff, I sorted out some restocks, I've designed some new bracelets. We've got two more princesses coming in the next couple of weeks. We've got Jasmine and we've got Snow White coming, so get ready for those. Um, Jasmine's been requested and Snow White's been requested as well actually, so hopefully you guys are like them. By the way, the Halloween bracelets are villains and then two kind of Halloween-y kind of movies. I mean, one's not a Halloween movie, but it can be seen as a Halloween kind of theme. And then a general kind of Disney Mickey Halloween bracelet, which is probably my favorite. Um, but they are very limited stock and they will be limited. Like I'm only doing them for Halloween. So once they're sold, they're sold. And I'm, I'm not gonna say that there's loads of them and there's enough for everyone because there's not, because I don't have that much money. So. It is limited stock, so I hope the people who really want them get them. And I asked on Twitter which villain you like the most, so I made sure I ordered more of the most popular villain and stuff. So hopefully all will go well. So I've just got in from the post office, packaged out my orders, I quickly nipped to home bargains. The Halloween section was out and the Christmas section, which was really weird. And it's like, I want it so bad to get excited, but at the same time it's like if I get excited, by the time Christmas comes it'll be like, I've been excited for months. I don't know how much more excitement I've got left. So I was like, just stay calm for a little bit longer. I didn't even buy anything from the Halloween range, I'm surprised. There wasn't, like, there was loads of stuff I wanted if I was gonna have a Halloween party, like a shindig. But um, I was like, oh, well, I can get it next time. It's only mid-September, it won't sell out just yet. I do normally have a pumpkin carving party, so that'll be fun for you guys to see. And I thought, you know what, I haven't spoke to you all day. I can't really show you when I'm doing the bracelets. Or when I'm packing the bracelets because it's like got people's dresses on and I want the bracelets to be a surprise as well, the Halloween ones. So I apologise, this week's been really boring. I was actually so tempted to go through to Primark this morning. It's probably a good thing I didn't know. I was going to go through to Primark in Newcastle, do a bit of shopping and then come home. But um, I know I wouldn't have got anything done like that I've already got. Like I've got my whole Halloween range ordered apart from the boxes. Yeah, so I was just about making my snack and then I got some really bad news. Um, you know me Nana's dogs? Um, I've had them in the vlog before when I've looked after them. And they were in the vlog last week. Uh, I walked them with me Nana. And it's like, it's kind of nice that I got to walk uh, Daisy for one last time because me Nana just texts and Daisy's had to be put to sleep. So Daisy was the smaller one, the girl. She was the black and white one. And then Toby's the brown and white one. And um, we had Toby when I lived there. So me Nana didn't have Daisy for very long. She's only had her like coming up two years, nine months. Um, and then she took her, I knew she was going to the vets today, but basically she had lumps on her. She went to get the lumps took off her. And then they did all these procedures, right? This is the annoying part, I may as well tell you, because I'm quite annoyed about this. They did all these procedures to Daisy. And my Nana said that she's got lumps on her. She needs them took off. She had a couple of teeth needing took out. Like my Nana really looks after the dogs. And um, she said all the procedures she wanted done to make her nice and healthy. And it was gonna cost about 400 quid. So she also said, um, so she was booked in for all that and in the last couple of days she's been um, not walking properly and she's got like, she can't put her leg down on one side on the back. So my Nana's like, will you check that out while you're operating on, her, on the other things? Like x-ray her first and then she can like get operated on that at the same time or what have you. So they didn't, they operated on her the £400 worth, then they brought her round, woke her up, then the x-rayed her and found out that she had bone cancer and her hip had crumbled and that it was nothing that could be fixed it would just get worse and she was in pain and they recommended um putting that they recommended putting that to sleep so it's like she's just had 400 pounds of her procedures done to her she's in a lot of pain you're bringing her around just to put her to sleep what a waste of their time what a waste of money how horrible that must have been for daisy so they brought her around me nana rang like they rang me nana told me nana me nana went through obviously and then not only did they bring her around, put another catheter in her to put her to sleep and then put her to sleep, they charged me Nana another hundred to put her to sleep when they'd already done 400 pound worth of unnecessary stuff. I'm so annoyed. Me Nana's upset. Me Nana's 500 pound worth out of pocket and now she doesn't have a dog. Like, I'm so annoyed that they've done that to me Nana. I think it's disgusting. I feel like they've done it deliberately. Like, I feel like they charged her the 400 deliberately 
because they knew they could get that out of her and then put her to sleep. And then they had the audacity to charge her another 100 to put her to sleep when they've just charged her 400 pounds for stuff that didn't need doing. Rant of the day, but I'm annoyed. I'm upset as well. I never lived with Daisy, but I did walk her. I've looked after her here. Um, like she was a little cutie bless her. Like I'm upset, but I'm okay. Um, I'm just really annoyed with the way the vets have treated me nana, to be honest. It's not a very nice way for the, me nana, me nana's not very, I've rang her and stuff and I've been on the phone to her and she's all right, bless her, she's cuddling Toby. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you because that happened today. But the camera is dying, so that's annoying. I'm gonna quickly make myself a cup of tea, get some biscuits, and then we'll head upstairs and we'll try and organize the rooms a little bit. I know it's not very interesting, but it's just my life and I'm not allowed to apologize anymore, so. Uh, yeah, let's get on with this. So it's actually been about an hour since I last spoke to you. I'm freezing, so I've got this dressing gown on. It's definitely wintry. Um, yeah, so instead of going upstairs and starting to tidy, oh, I knew this was going to happen because it was too late in the day, but I sat down with a cup of tea and two biscuits and I was just chilling. I think I needed it just from being on the computer all morning and I got a lot done. And then I started thinking about my Halloween packaging and yeah, so I've just chilled for the last hour. Um... And then I thought, you know what, I'm absolutely starving. So I've come down to make myself some dinner um, and then I'll get on with what I can upstairs. Um, I really just want to chill and stick a movie on for the rest of the night, but I can't, that room is so bad. It, even if I just get that room done and tidy it and then maybe just finish and organise it another day, honestly, I'm terrible. So this is Matthew's dinner. Um, vegan enchiladas ready to go in the oven when he gets home. I've been doing all the tidying and making the dinner and I've had piano Disney on, oh my god I'm obsessed. And mine are in here, already done, keeping hot, ready to numb. Oh, steamy camera, oh my god, I am going to eat this. And then hopefully I'll have the energy to go back upstairs and carry on with the tidying. Oh, oh I'm a genius. So hi guys, it's the next day. Um. I want to have a quick conversation, but I don't want it to come across bad. How do I even start this? So, I didn't record last night after the last time I spoke to you. I was quite upset about my nana's dog dying. I think at first I was angry, and then when it started to sink in I was upset. So there was that. And then, now I really don't know how to go about this, so forgive me from the start if this comes out wrong. Hopefully I'll edit it right, but I put up a post last night on my Instagram and I'm working with a company that I haven't worked with before and isn't my usual type of stuff that I put like on my Instagram and my YouTube and stuff. I'm nervous about this. <laughs> and um, I knew not everybody would be interested most of my followers are disney so i knew it wasn't going to be everybody's taste but if you don't like something then like you don't have to like everything that somebody else likes do you know what i mean so i wanted to do it and i knew some of my followers would be interested so i wanted to do it like i was interested so basically if you don't know what i'm on about i posted a picture on am i out of focus there we go I posted a picture on my Instagram, if you don't know what I'm on about, last night, um, Thursday for you guys last week. Um, and I am working with a company called Skinny Mint and I am trying these gummies, these vegan sugar free, super fat burning gummies. Now, I didn't speak about it last week in my weekly vlog because it was the first week I was on them and I don't want to promote something if they don't work or if I don't believe in them. So I thought I'm not even going to mention it because... I need to try them first and then now it's my second week so by the time you guys I was generally going to sit down and talk about these yesterday and then after the whole putting up the picture thing I was like now it just looks like I'm seeing it because anyway yeah so um I was going to mention these this week so it's my second week on them and then for you guys when you see this it'll be my third week on them so I realized yesterday before this whole hoo-ha that I should have said something about these last week so that you guys were prepared for the Instagram post. I don't know. But basically, I put on Instagram that I've been trying these and that so far I'm enjoying them because I am. And unfortunately, a couple of people, which I wasn't expecting, were not happy about the fact that I was doing a review on a product that is done by a lot of bigger YouTubers. 
I mean, I'm not going to mention names and I'm not going to go into detail. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but what was kind of said, there was quite a few people said it, not just the one, I'm not signalling anybody out, but I need to get this across because I'm upset about it. So a couple of people said that I'm basically a sellout because um, this company works with bigger YouTubers and you get paid to promote these products and all that sort of thing. And that I was basically just doing it like every other YouTuber now and I'm just like every other YouTuber and that I'm a sellout and I did it for the money. That hurt. That hurt. I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie, I cried about that. Yep. Oh, I don't want to do it again. So, I'm very lucky on my channel that I don't get a lot of hate. I am very... You guys are always so lovely and so understanding, like, more than I ever envisioned. Sometimes when I'm in, like, a bad mood or if things don't go right, you guys are so accepting and so great. But for some reason, some people, more than I thought and more vocal than I thought, really didn't like the fact that I'd worked with this company um, and I get hate comments every now and then I, you know I've been online for a few years now I've been called fat I've been called spotty I've been called annoying accent I've been called all sorts I've been threatened I've had pervy guys like you name it it's happened it's online it doesn't phase me it doesn't bother me for god's sake I put YouTube out there half the time on my weekly vlogs without any makeup on and I know I'm a mess and I don't care but being called a sellout and doing it for the money and doing it because other bigger YouTubers do it and I just want to be like them. That freaking hurt. That is not true. And as a follower, I feel like they should have seen that that was not the case. Because I am so transparent with you guys that I, n I would never do that. And it hurt that somebody watches me and thinks I would do that. That's what hurt. It was the fact that they apparently know who I am through my vlogs but still seen that collaboration as that and it's like now I feel very lost I don't know what is okay to put online anymore I don't want to get upset about this so again I don't want to attack anyone if you were one of the people that said this the people's the people that said these things you are entitled to your opinion and I am not mad with you I am just upset that you thought that of me and I now want to take the chance to explain that it is not the case and it never will be on my channel so I don't want to come across like I'm victimising people or that I'm like, go and have a look and let's go all get angry. And I know people, I know more than one person was thinking that. Like there was a few comments and there'll be more people thinking it. I know. And it's like, it wasn't because of money or anything like that. And I wanted to be given the chance to explain myself. I would never ever promote a product for money and not believe in it. <sighs> See, at the end of the day, YouTubers get paid for products but their opinions are their own and I feel like you guys should be comfortable with me reviewing products knowing that I completely back them and it's a given that I wouldn't do that well I thought it was unless I believed in a product I don't know I'm really not getting this across right and I don't want to come across as angry and I don't want to fall out with anyone and I don't want this type of thing on my channel but I'm very upset basically. I would never do that to you guys. I would never promote a product just because they paid me. Um, I get, like without blowing my own trumpet, but I may as well be honest with you guys. I get emails every day from companies. I am in such an amazing position right at the minute. And every single day I have companies messaging me saying, do a video on this, do a video on that. The amount of videos and paid collaborations that I turn down because I know you guys will not be interested because I'm not, because we are the same. You watch me because we have similar interests. Yes, some people might like something that I don't like. I might like something that you don't like. Everybody is not the exact same or the world would be a boring place. So I am sorry that I actually had a genuine interest in these and that some people who follow me might not, but that's okay. Just don't read the review. Don't get angry at me and call me a sellout because you don't believe in that product. That's not fair. I'm sorry, I'm getting irate and I really don't wanna do this to you guys. It's just like, it hurt. Like, if you must know, Skinny Mint contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try them and I was like, yes, are they vegan? Are they this? Are they that? I asked a lot of questions before I went into it and they wanted a review video. I said my followers won't be interested in a review video but what they might want to see is a morning routine video because I've been doing a new routine. I asked on Twitter and I said 
do you guys want to see a lifestyle review of a like product review or would you rather see a morning routine and surprisingly about half of you said routine and half of you said a review so i went back to skinny mint and i said let's do both let's do a review at the beginning of the video and then my routine i want to keep my followers happy they don't normally do that they normally sponsor people just to do a review but with me i put my foot down and i am doing a review and morning routine and i did that for you guys and for me like i would never do things without you guys in mind i have like some collaborations coming up at the minute that are like with companies that people are like i've never heard of this store but i have tailored it to you guys and my channel so in a few weeks time i have an amazing video coming up that i cannot wait for and you guys won't have heard of the shop but they sell something that is so cool that i was like i'm working with these guys and they're not even paying me they're not even paying me i just really really liked some of the products that they sell so it's like sometimes i'll do collaborations sometimes i won't sometimes i'll get paid sometimes i won't like it has to do with the product the pay is nothing to do with it and even if the pay comes into it please don't ever think that the pay is at the top and the product and you guys are at the bottom it will never be that way i'm getting irate i'm getting upset again but yeah i didn't want to do this but i'm upset some people will be like oh she shouldn't have put that video up explaining it if she wants to do that do it but i speak to you guys about everything and this is what's going on right now in my life and i'm upset and I want you guys to know that you can always trust me and I will never ever do anything to false advertise something to you guys just because it's money in my pocket or a free product. Weight is not something that I talk about on my channel a lot because it's another thing that I feel like will start a bit of a kind of bad conversation and I don't want to put that out there. If you have watched me back from the beginning of me starting weekly vlogs, so back in February, I was speaking about my weight and I was going to the gym and I was trying to lose weight. Oh, I hate talking about this on my channel. But basically, I did a placement a couple of years ago. I put a bit of weight on because working full time was hard. I ate to sustain my energy. And I have MA, it's hard to shift weight. I can't just go to the gym. I'm a little bit bigger than I was a couple of years ago. Everybody is a different size. People who are my height can be bigger, smaller. People who are taller can be bigger, smaller. People who are shorter can be bigger, smaller nobody has a perfect size it's whatever makes you happy so please don't feel like oh i'm taller than her i need to be smaller or i'm bigger than her i need to be i don't know whatever like i don't want to promote that sort of thing on my channel but you guys know i've started a new morning routine doing my yoga and my meditation and i just wanted to see if i could kind of tore myself up a little bit with the yoga and then maybe something like this could help me lose a little bit of weight that I've put on all that time ago and a lot of my wardrobe doesn't fit me because I put that weight I put that weight on and it's upsetting and again it's not something I talk about on my channel but I did at the beginning of the year and then I stopped talking about it because I started getting grief about it Whew. but my weight is something that I battle with and I'm not going to talk about it on my channel but to an extent I will such as reviewing these do you see what I'm saying I wanted to review these because I genuinely want to see if they worked. I'm not about putting weight videos out there and talking about all weight. I don't want that sort of thing on my channel. I want my channel to be as positive as possible. But if these can have a positive impact on my body, then what is wrong with that? I don't want to talk about this anymore. I really, really hope like you guys, I feel like I'm having a go at you or that I'm signaling anybody in particular out. Everyone is entitled to your opinion. Everyone can think that of me if they want to but it hurts that they do and they shouldn't think like that because it's not true and I just wanted to tell you that and clear it up and I hope this never happens again I just don't know what, what I'm allowed to put online anymore without I don't know I just feel a bit lost right now it's it's my YouTube and my Instagram and I feel like I have to put out there what interests me oh that sounds so rude I can't explain myself and I'm sorry if I'm coming across rude but if I want to review a product because I'm interested in it now I don't know what I'm allowed to review without being called a sellout so I just feel a bit lost like I was very nervous about introducing a bit of anime into my Instagram and YouTube like going to Comic Con and stuff but it is something that really interests me and I really want to get into more but you guys were great about that so it's like what am I allowed to do and not do and I'm not talking about all of you guys I sound like a right Blah. but some people are obviously always going to be offended i know you can't please everyone but like i said it was probably the worst kind of comment that i've had like negative comment it really hit home it really hurt and it was quite a few people not just one or two so i obviously did something wrong 
and I was upset and I upset I was upset that I upset you I felt like I'd done wrong by you all right we're gonna stop talking about this I'm really sorry guys <sighs> so I've cleared my schedule I'll have to record over the weekend I've got orders packed up I've dyed my hair I've got a video going up tonight I've done some emails I'm gonna go out and see this is another thing I've never spoke about on my channel I want a Care Bear okay I really want a Care Bear I used to have one when I was younger and there's a giant one on sale in Smith's Toys right now and they've been on sale for a few weeks and I didn't realise and there's one left in the country I'm not even joking and it's a 30 minute drive from where I am it's a giant one it's pink and it's a tenner and it's meant to be like I don't know 40 quid or something so I can't reserve it online because it's the last one I rang the store and I was like please please I'm having a bad day and I need a care bear I've just realized I've been talking for 25 minutes so that is terrible I'm sorry about that but anyway the woman was like we can't um we can't keep stock when it's like one item left it's just whoever comes and gets it and I was like but I'm like a 30 minute drive and she was like we're really busy at the minute just to let you know and the kids are, are coming in from school usually in around the next 10 20 minutes and that was about half an hour ago and I've been running around like a lunatic I think I'm gonna drive all this way and it'll have been sold but she wouldn't keep it for me because she said it was the last one and they're not allowed to do that and I was like but I rang you and I really want it but um yeah so I've cleared my schedule. I'm going to nip to the post office and post off everyone's bracelets. I'm going to go and get petrol because it's quite a drive. Then I'm going to go to this toy store and I am going to be so upset if this Care Bear is not there. And I don't even know what to do. And I kind of want a puppy surprise as well, but they're not on sale. So I don't want to pay full price. Oh, please Care Bear, please be there. Right, we're going to hurry up because I really want this Care Bear. Care Bear? Care Bear and it's only going to get busier because these kids are finishing school. And I'm probably going to be driving through traffic. This is probably going to put me in a worse mood. But we've cleared our schedule. I mean, we've got everything done that we needed to do today. And now it's, to be honest, getting on in the day. It's 20 to 4. So I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to try and get this Care Bear. Just got in it to the post office. Get petrol. And then after the Care Bear, I was going to take me now out for dinner. But she's going out with her friends, bless her. She's really upset. I mean, I've been ringing her as often as I can. I rang her again last night. I rang her this morning. I've been texting her. So I'm going to nip around and get my prescription later on after I try and get this care bear and then if she isn't um available for food which I don't think she is she's definitely going out with her friends I'll try and call in and see her and then I think I might just go to Metro and it's like I don't want to go on my own but my sister and my little nephew right now I rang them and they're not ready I need to just go out clear my mind and buy myself stuff <laughs> Does anyone else do that to make themselves feel better? I just want to go shopping and eat good food and chill. And I, oh, I sound so stupid today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm letting you down. I know I am. But I just want to go shopping and buy myself things and make myself feel better. So I'm going to try and get this Care Bear. I might go through to Toys R Us <laughs> and just buy myself something if I can't get this Care Bear. And I hope my sister can come. I generally do. It's just she's never ready in time. And she takes a long time to get ready. I'm going to stop talking. Let's go out and make me feel better. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I can't even believe the last like t like amount of time I have I've had like crazy since I spoke to you last. It's like somebody's trying to upset me. Basically, um, the care bear was a, a a lot more of a drive than I thought it was gonna be. Um, Petra liked him on and everything. I hadn't. I don't even know that area at all. I've never been there. But I got my care bear. Mm, I'm so happy. There was two of them as well. Here's me thinking there was only one left and there was two of them. So I got my care bear. And then um, I went to leave and my phone started dying. And I was like, right, I don't know how I, like, where, I don't know where I am. I don't know how I'm going to use my sat nav. Um, I managed to find somewhere where I recognised. But the annoying thing was is that I needed to get, I've got hair on my lip. The annoying thing was is that I needed to get my prescription by a certain time. And I looked at the clock and I'd literally lost an hour. Cannot think to myself at all where that hour has gone. I'm so confused. So I had less time than I thought to get to the doctors. So I missed the doctors because I ended up sitting in traffic and I rang them and then, yeah. To be honest though, I think like 
the prescription I need is a special one. So I probably, even if I drove that far, the probably would have said, oh, we'll have to order it in because they did last time. So it's not the end of the world, but it's, I don't have a prescription for the weekend, but we're not going to go into that. It's fine. I'll just not think about it. So that happened. Um, and if I'd known I was going to miss the doctors, I would have stayed in that retail park and looked around the rest of the shops. Because then it turned out that nobody could meet me at Metro. So Matthew's not well, my nana's gone out, my auntie's not well, and then Amy was possibly going to meet me, but then she couldn't. So I was like, well, I don't want to drive an hour in the other direction back to Metro by myself. So I pulled up at the petrol station, finally got petrol. And I was stressed and I was trying to ring everyone. I was like, somebody please come to Metro with me. Like, I didn't want to drive that far on my own, even though I wanted to, like, cheer myself up and do shopping. Like, I would have rather stayed at those shops that I was already at. This is honestly so dramatic right now, and I'm being an idiot, I know I am. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Metro, and I'm going to have a fabulous time. And then on the way here, my sister drove in, um, my sister rang us, and she was like, oh, yeah, I can come now. So my sister is meeting us, but my phone's dying, so I need to hurry up and ring her, and then I'm going to go in, find somewhere to charge my phone in those, like, free charging things. Um, I think Metro has them. I've never used them before. And, yeah, we're going to do some shopping, and we're going to cheer up, and, Lord, I'm being tested. But, yeah, honestly, I've spent the last hour just trying to figure out who, like, driving in traffic, if anyone can beat me oh my phone was dying my petrol light was on but my sister's meeting me and we're at barrel center now and i got my care bear so stop being dramatic sarah and let's go and do a bit of shopping and i'm starving so i need pizza <laughs>
because I've just finished at the shops. Um, you know when you want to buy yourself something and there's just nothing? I was in one of those moods, as you can probably tell. I do feel a lot better. I'm still a little bit stressed, and if I'm honest. I mean, it's not going to go straight away, but I do feel a lot better. I've had a better shop than I normally get with my sister. I don't know if it was because we were here a little bit earlier than we normally would be, um, and she just met me there. And we did go for food first, and we did stop halfway through shopping for to feed my little um, nephew, and I played on the games on the screen. That was a really good baby room, by the way. Um, well done, Metro Centre. And then, yeah, I, I think I pretty much got to look in every shop I wanted to look in, and I got nothing for myself. Absolutely nothing. So apart from the Care Bear earlier, the only other thing I bought, which I couldn't believe, when I was in Primark there was a big queue, I tried to show you it, and I was like, excuse me, what's this queue for? Basically, they were releasing the Mrs. Potts. I don't know how so many people found out, but you guys ooh, know I already have my one. But my sister got herself one, and I got another one. And I'm gonna put it in a giveaway. So that's the only other thing I bought. So I don't know if it's gonna be in my next giveaway or a special giveaway. I have no idea, but I just, you know, I wanna give back to you guys. Like, I think earlier I came off a bit kind of angry and I don't wanna come across like that. I was more upset and I love you guys and I just hope that you still love me. So I'm gonna try and give you a Mrs. Potts. <laughs> it's not bribery, I swear. No, I just generally thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna give one of those away because I know loads of people can't get them but anyway i'm gonna maybe nip to asda now i'm not sure i'm pretty tired but um otherwise i'm just going home i probably won't speak to you when i get home because i know what i'm like i'll get home i'm knackered it's gonna be quite late by the time i get home it's gonna be like well after 10 so if i don't speak just tomorrow i will see you sorry if i don't speak just tonight i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> good night hey everyone it is the next day it's saturday so I've had a bit of an unproductive morning. I've got a bit of a headache kind of going on, but not really. Like it wants to be a bad headache, but it's not too bad because well, I've been doing my meditating and everything, but it is really trying. And I should have meditated and done yoga, but I've had a really unproductive day and I should have started filming and all sorts. And I've just been sat downstairs doing nothing. Um, Matthew was at work this morning. I had a bit of a lie in. And then I was on the phone to my sister for an hour, my little sister. Um, she's moved back up to the northeast now yay so i get to see her more she's i'm actually seeing her tomorrow as well so that's cool um i'm supposed to be filming all weekend and editing but like two people asked me to hang out today and my little sister tomorrow and it's just like Ugh. so i haven't done anything which is annoying because i gotta got things out of the way but now because i've got a bit of a headache and matthew was only in half a day a day once he got in i just kind of didn't do anything because you guys know like I've said before if Matthew's home I just don't do anything because I want to sit with him so I've um just been sat on the couch downstairs with Matthew for a few hours just chilling music playing on our phones not really doing much and then Matthew doesn't like sitting in the house for too long so he was like let's go out and get a compost bin I don't know why he wants to do compost so we're gonna go out and get a compost bin i want some stuff from wilkinson because we're running out of bird seed and things i've ran out of my face powder so i keep using this other one it's rubbish and um, just a spare one i had in the drawer i don't even know what brand it is but it's making me really oily so it's not very good so we're just gonna go out to the shops and get a few things and then come home make fajitas yummy and then the other video i was supposed to do this weekend i'm just gonna do during the week i keep putting things back and back but i keep giving myself too much to do in one day and no breaks and my brain doesn't work like that so we're gonna go out to the shops for a few hours and i'll take you with us it's just kind of like local shops like nothing too special there's no primark or anything but we're gonna go out and hopefully it'll help my head <laughs> Chrysan team. <laughs> Matthew. What? You called me crazy for driving to get a Care Bear <laughs> and you have drove us to get a com. What is it? Compost bin. A compost bin. And this is the second shop we've come to to get a compost bin. At least I got the care bear in one shop. <laughs> oh, it fits good. I'm gonna tell everyone how long it just took you to get that in the car because you're such a wimp. Scared of spiders.
got red ranger. I really want pink ranger. Me and Matthew have come to Tesco to look for um, vegan Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It's been released in the UK now, but it's only in Tesco Extra, so we've come to a Tesco Extra to find this vegan ice cream. And I was just looking at these DVDs and I really like these ones. It's like a new kind of limited edition collection thing. But I really want the mask. Where is it? There's the mask, I just seen it all. I want the mask. I like that it says Stanley of Kiss on it. And I think I want Nightmare on Elm Street. So do they have all three? That's pretty cool. I quite like Inception. That one looks shiny though and the rest are matte. Um maybe Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Maybe 300. I do want the mask though. I like that it says the main character on it. Should we go and find the ice cream? Good evening to come in and see you. Oh, I've got the lamp on down there and it's really bright. Basically, it's about half 11. We've just gotten in. Um, we couldn't, look at my eye. We couldn't find the ice cream in... Um, Tesco they didn't have it and then we went around Matthew's parents and they've got rats now I think I showed you that that was weird and then um we watched Pete's Dragon so we've just got home I hadn't seen it before the new one uh it was all right it wasn't my favorite but my head oh my god it hurts so much it's on fire it's like you know when it hurts so bad that you feel sick oh I feel sick <laughs> but I really want to say goodnight so I'm gonna have to go to sleep because this light is too bright and my head's killing and yep this is the first bad headache i've had for about two weeks but um it's that time and i normally get one so it's expected to be honest but it's really bad so i'm gonna go to bed and i'll catch you guys in the morning good night so guys it's the next day it is sunday um i did speak to you last night but i had a raging headache um i still had a headache this morning when i woke up but it's a lot better now because it's actually about four o'clock um, so because Matthew was off today I really needed his help recording my morning routine video and um, so I haven't recorded the, re the review part of um, this product which I'm sure you all know that I got a bit grumpy about talking to you the other day and I feel really bad about that conversation but I was upset at the time and I hope I didn't offend anyone but I needed to say that and we'll not go over it again but yeah you guys know I love you and I would never do anything wrong by you so anywho Anyway, I've done the morning routine part of that video uh, with Matthew's help, so that's literally what I've been doing all day. Um, it's just a lot of work to record your morning routine, which is crazy because when you're doing your morning routine, can you hear the rain? It is crazy today. It just keeps stopping and starting like really crazy. Yeah, so I recorded my morning routine, but not the review part because I'm going to do that the day before the video goes up because I want as much time as possible to be taking them. Um, to give them a proper honest review if that makes sense so I don't want to record the review now and then put it up on Wednesday and then that could have been another like five days or whatever um taking them so I recorded that Matthew helped me and then Matthew's been in the garden and I've been editing and I would have obviously loved to have hung out with him more this weekend um especially today but and it looks like on Tuesday as well when he's off I'm going to be recording but I'm just a bit busy at the minute and needing to get things done but um I haven't finished editing but we're gonna go around my mum's because um, she's making us dinner, but we're actually running late. Like, we are supposed to be there maybe now, half an hour ago kind of time. So we need to go. But I just went downstairs and Matthew was fast asleep because he's not very well. So I feel bad waking him up to make him go around my mum's when he's not well and he's got work in the morning. So I'm gonna go down because I need to go down anyway to get my shoes. And I don't know, I'm gonna be going around my mum's, but we'll see if Matthew is. Um, but I don't normally record too much of my mums, but I feel like I've been a really rubbish vlogger this week and grumpy and not really doing much. Um, I mean, I was at the shops two days in a row, I guess. I don't know. My sister's there and I think my nan is there, so it'll be a laugh and I'll try and record what I can. But yeah, we're going to go downstairs, see if Matthew's awake and then hopefully go around my mums. And then when I get back, I'll finish editing because tomorrow I need to get the weekly vlog edited before I have a blood test at two o'clock. So tomorrow's going to be crazy. Oh, if the weekly vlog ends up going up late oh but you won't know until you watch this so that makes no sense anyway so how would i explain that 
if when you watch this this vlog went up late it was because i had a blood test so i had to go out and come back if that makes sense anyway while i was editing yeah but yeah so um i would leave the, ca the camera at home and let the weekly vlog download onto the computer so that i can definitely get out to my blood test on time tomorrow but i feel bad that i haven't recorded so i'm going to take it to my mum's and we're going to see what we can record and i'll just try my best to get the weekly vlog up on time tomorrow anyway i'm blabbing right let's go around my mum's because i'm already late <gasps> So I've just rang my mum, I was downstairs, I mean you'll have seen I went and snuck up on Matthew Bless and we woke up, he's not very well at all so I was going to go on my own, so I rang my mum to say Matthew's not well, I'm just going to come round and then she said like that my sister hasn't turned up yet because she's been delayed at work, my nana had just got there when I was on the phone with my mum um, and they're all kind of like a bit lethargic because I haven't actually made that much like food, it was just kind of going to be like stuff to pick at. And she was like, why don't you just come round another day if you've got stuff to do? Because I do need to edit and Matthew's not well. So I'm actually just going to stay in. Um, I mean, you know, I could have gone round if I didn't have stuff to do. But at the same time, I kind of feel like I want to get this out of the way. And I want to go and sit with Matthew. And he's really not very well, bless him. He's probably like spluffering up. He's spluffering? It's like coughing up his guts. He's got a cold. I don't know how I haven't caught it from him. Um, but he's not very well at all, bless him. So... I'm going to try and do some more editing and get this done. It means I can download the stuff from the weekly vlog from the camera. So tomorrow I just need to edit. So hopefully I can get that and done, be, like, done in time before my blood test. And then, um, yeah, so I'm just going to edit. Then I'll probably make the tea later because Matthew's not very well. We're going to have chicken fajitas. Um, it's like this new Stella or Linda McCartney. I don't know. I'll have to show you. It's really nice. It tastes really good. We got it from Sainsbury's. Um, it's like a fake chicken kind of thing and then um, yeah so I'm just going to continue editing I'll download the stuff from the camera while I've got the chance now and we're not going out and then I'll show you what we get up to later I might actually sit and play on my games because I think Matthew's going to have an early night because he's not well and I've been really craving playing on my Xbox lately so now I've got some recording out of the way I might treat myself to playing on the Xbox layer. But anyway, I'm going to get on with this. I'll download stuff and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. So good news. Since I haven't gone out, I've managed to completely edit a video that needed to go up this week. So that's done, which puts the pressure off me this week a little bit. Um, I do feel bad though because Matthew's not well and he's downstairs on his own. So I'm going to go down and help him make the dinner now. Um, I've also got... What else have I got done? Oh, I got everything downloaded off the camera. So that in the morning, all I have to do is edit the weekly vlog. So hopefully... I as I was saying before the camera really died for the second time a day hopefully I can edit the weekly vlog in time in the morning before my blood test because that's all I need to do now uh, and then on Tuesday unfortunately I still can't spend Matthew's next day off with him because I'm recording again um, and I don't want to sound like I don't want to do YouTube it's just I would prefer to record on the days when Matthew's at work but the way my schedule landed which is my fault because I made the schedule and I keep putting things off and wanting days off and things and uh, I'm terrible honestly it's just it's like if you don't feel like recording that day though you don't want to make yourself do it because then it becomes a chore and I don't want it to ever get like that because I love recording I, I love doing YouTube but I do have a few deadlines at the minute that I need to meet um, but it's only going to be like that for this next week and then I don't have any deadlines I'm free to do pretty much what I want again and I'm going to be starting a new series of vlogs so I'll quickly tell you about it and then I'm going to go downstairs and help Matthew so basically I've been asking on how I can do my Disney collection and I have a massive like without bragging Disney collection and I'm really confused as to how to put it on the internet like in the video i think room by room which a lot of people seem to like the idea of isn't really to my taste because the house is not how i want it and it's not always really tidy like i recorded that morning routine this morning and it was so hard because the, the house still wasn't organized like you'll have been hearing me say all week i needed to organize upstairs to record a video and i just basically had to do clever camera angles so that you couldn't tell that the room wasn't organized and it was actually pretty messy but never mind um and then um and then i can't do one massive video of my disney collection because honestly it would mean that the whole disney collection wouldn't end up in it because i can't possibly get everything from every room and bring it into this room and there's like stuff on the wall stuff in the wardrobe stuff i'd forget about things would get left out so what i've decided to do is i'm gonna do i'm gonna call it my disney collection series and then there's gonna be like part one part two part three at the minute there's 10 parts in my head so the first part will be my mug collection disney mug collection 
Uh, the second part might be like my Disney handbags, third part might be like my Disney pyjamas, fourth part might be like my Disney um, shelf tour and I'm basically going to do a My Disney Collection series in parts and at the minute I worked out that there was going to be 10 different parts, there could be more, there could be less, I don't know the order, I'm thinking of starting with cups, let me know what you want to see, um, I'm going to do clothes, shoes, so Disney clothes, Disney shoes, Disney pyjamas, Disney cups, Disney handbags, Disney shelves. Oh, what else was there? I came up with 10 the other day and there's so much, there's more as well. Disney, oh, I can't think now. I've got it wrote down though. I've been thinking about it. So I think um, I've got to record a video on Tuesday um, and then that's my two videos for this week after my weekly vlog because Wednesdays is done now. Um, and then... Yeah, so next weekend I probably will have the weekend off and spend it with Matthew because I just feel like I need to. I just feel like I've had a lot on my mind of videos I need to do just because I've been taking on collaborations and products and not all of them have been paid but some of them have. So you have deadlines to meet and you'll see that they're all products that I believe in but that was the conversation we had the other day. Um, so yeah, um, and I don't want people to be like, oh no, they're all going to be like that if you're not interested in the skinny mint gummies. They're all different ones. A vintage dress haul. I think I said this the other day, which you know I love vintage dresses. So they're all different. But anyway, um, so starting um, next week, so when weekly vlog 33 goes up. Is this 32 or is it 33? This might be 33. I don't know. But the Monday after this goes up that week i'm going to start to record my disney collection vid series videos so let me know which one you want to see first i was thinking cups but anyway i'm blabbing i'm going to go downstairs and help matthew make the dinner so guys i didn't actually end up doing anything else for the rest of the night just kind of sat and had enchiladas with matthew and then we watched Men in Black, uh, one, which obviously I've seen loads before. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed now. And I guess that was kind of the end of this weekly vlog. Been a bit of a weird one, but hope you enjoyed it. I hope you made it this far. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.